Welcome! Today we're playing Orion Trail. Basically Oregon Trail in space. Oh, you have to send away a leader. Holy ho 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 This is definitely the legendary Nutra Nutra Paste factory. No or whole condition red. Oh dear. Change our lives forever. <laughs> and there's me. <laughs> the the bear man. Oh dude. She's... She's... <laughs> Hold on, let's see if we can re-roll. Oh no. We can Mark... re-roll. Yay! Mark Kettleton, Andrew Jensen, who does in fact look like a space koala. Oh, there's me and from when Captain I was Fallon. Oh look, there see there I am. <laughs> there you are. Pick your first officer. Yeah. Okay, so now these are who I'm stuck with. Hot Yay! It's it's what's your face from Star Tropic? <laughs> Yell say him nays. <laughs> Chief oh, that's uh that's clearly Sean Beasley. <laughs> is that is that a reference? Dude, this game we could have just loaded up with furries, not given a shit about about our stats. There you go, cobble it together. Perfect. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Think about it for half a second. I they know. I know up. the. I know the joke. He loves it. We're good. Fine. Enjoy your dumb name. <laughs> Bubbly Rich. Oh, they packed a lot of face into that frame. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's Five Nights at Red Coblets. All right. Our goal is girlfriend. And we're way over here. This is starting to look more like the Godzilla game. Oh, choose your starting resources. Oh no. Okay. Launch! Let's go to the supernova. That's, yeah, the green sun seems like a decent option. We don't need crew. So we get random stuff. Oh jeez. the asteroid field known as Orion's Buckle. <laughs> you put out a call to any nearby ships to form a classic asteroid wagon train. Engage. <laughs> oh. This seems bad. Yo! We hit the jackpot! You all die at the end. Your newly formed posse cruises through the asteroid field. Random. Oh shit. Uh oh. Fuchsia belt. <laughs> After months of hard work and training, your weapons officer has graduated with a fusion belt in space quando. The graduation ceremony involves a lot of zero gravity kicking, which looks both impressive and exhausting. <laughs> he got plus one attack. He got his space belt in space quando from the space dojo. I, I like the idea of that guy in zero gravity just <laughs> kicking around like wah ha ho, like trying to kung fu panda. <laughs> Uh oh. Indicator light. You can't take it anymore. You divert resources from your science team to turn off the annoying <laughs> indicator light that's been flashing on your dashboard for the last light year. A number of your crew becomes ill. Their skin turns green. They soon start sprouting tentacles from everywhere. Long range sensors pick up a passing vessel. The ship changes course immediately. They realize that it's you're hugged. Come on. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yay! The aliens arrive in hazmat suits and begin administering what you assume is a cure for the disease, along with rations for the next few days. Soon your crew returns to normal. Hooray! Hooray! Some crew members have lathered up a hallway with Nutra paste and are taking turns sliding down the corridor on their bellies. You order them to clean it up after you take a few turns. <laughs> Minus 15 food, plus one bravado! Whee! Now bravado is our best. Welcome to yeah. Happy Ship! Your communications officer appears with six-year-old Gax, the kid who won the Be Captain for a Day contest. Gax settles into your chair and puts on your hats, only to be hailed by Arknack, the evil Fabulon who rejects fashion trends. Oh boy. Why did we do this? I say let him handle it. He's the captain right now. Yeah, go for it. Go for it, my dude. 
Let's see how the kid does. Let's see how he does. He's gonna get us our first bad thing. <laughs> That's our first uh, goal. Uh, 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 what the uh, f was that? Uh, Hug you. Game. What the f was that? Nope, I'm done. Heck this. Hi there, mister, says Gax waving. <laughs> nice pants. Arknack flies into a rage as he rejects the good fashion trends typical of Fabulons. Arknack tells his crew to fire at will and cuts the communication feed. Oh dear, shields up. <laughs> <laughs> Your transporter engineer calls you over concern. A transporter has activated on its own, displaying seemingly random coordinates. Or let's not go. <laughs> oh, you have to send away a leader. Go Coblet. Coblet together, grits their teeth, ready to face whatever random danger you're sending them to. Are you sure about this, Cap? The transporter engineer says, looking warily at the display. These readings are really strange. And look at that awesome gun he's got. And I love how everyone is pointing guns randomly. You nod to the engineer, who sighs. The transporter fires up, atomizing the away team. And then you lose all contact with them. Moving on! <laughs> Back in the teleporter. Cobbled together some sword, feeling disoriented. They've been dropped right back in the transporter room. The transporter engineer looks surprised to see them. Oh, I didn't know you were out, she grumbles. What? <laughs> Wait, huh? What do you mean you didn't know they were out? I don't trust this. It's a trick. Hey, Shen. It's a trick. Heck, this mission. Let's go. Everyone heads back to their quarters. Returning to their quarters, Cobblet Together opens the door to discover that their bed is already occupied by Cobblet Together. Hmm, distressing. The doppelganger seems to have fallen asleep reading a book. Cobblet Together begins to dig through the contents of the room, oh god, to see if there's any clue to what is going on here. It's their own room after all, so searching isn't that sketchy, right? <laughs> Okay, we get bonuses for crew. for crew. Okay. I was about to say, this seems bad. Still seems bad. Phew. <laughs> arg, arg. That wasn't a pleasant sound. It was the Wilhelm scream. There are subtle changes all around, but the curtains have dinosaurs on them. This can't be cobbled together crew. They hate dinosaurs. Suddenly, Kilnar Lindaris kicks in the door and sprains their ankle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Jose Jalapeno <laughs> Investigation verifies this isn't your ship, the indestructible two, but the invulnerable two, a force galactic ship from a mirror universe where everyone has red eyes. Take them down! Shinies, go! Some force collect crew manage to stow away as you transport their resources away, but most of them are stuck behind, screaming as the invulnerable two breaks apart. Oh well, they're evil, right? Right? Oh, hey, we got crew back. Hey, neat. Everything's fine, except he lost some hit points. It's okay. Hey, that was a successful mission. <laughs> except for Doug. One morning, the iconic red uniforms of the low-ranking crew are suddenly neon-colored. What's going on? <coughs> Something's gotta be done. The whole neon thing is ugly and hard on the eyes, and neon shirts doesn't roll off the tongue nearly as well. <laughs> Everyone wearing a no now neon shirt is asked to report to the science lab for tests to get the bottom of the shirt changing business. Or tests. <laughs> How many will die? All of them? Okay. <laughs> if this guy appears, it means we're hugged. The red dye from the shirts has seeped in the skin of the crew members. Every bit of them that was once touching the shirt is now bright red. The affected crew are quarantined forever. You are in the presence of the Grug. Your probability matrix spins out of control. You must roll the die. Or die. Oh wait, it's not our probability drive is all. Heck? Oh. Woo! Jackpot! Nice. The group sniffs back a tear. No one ever talks to my side. No wonder you have so many friends. Eat, drink, and be merry with them. Cubes such as myself do not have the luxury of companionship. Industrial station. Hey, can we like refuel here or get some more food? Receive a message from a nearby mining colony. <laughs> Dude, I like that guy. <laughs> he appears to just be a cell phone. And we have five more crew than we started with. We really don't need anything. So... I guess keep going. You 
discover a planet populated by humanoid creatures with freakish ape heads. Wow, racist. Since they appear to be intelligent creatures, you open negotiations to barter with them. Present bananas to the leader. No, oh, come on. Are you serious? Screw you, game. On this planet, monkeys are allergic to bananas. Are you trying to kell us, boom the leader? A severe looking chimpanzee. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, he yells as he storms out. Leaving everyone to wonder what the fart that even means. There goes more food. See, this is the problem I have with random games. The entire dish has to destabilize, as no. well as this game's sense of humor. And it's threatening to cause a catastrophic carbohydrate cascade. Eat it! Thick! We need food. We got we got whole. We got whole anyway. Holy 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 Nobody knows what we're talking about. I think Longtail might. <laughs> he knows what we're on about. <clears throat> green star. I always like green stars. Although, mm, young. Do this. That's a course. <laughs> mm, bye. <laughs> Hungry and desperate, you hail a passing alien ship. <laughs> Food? Only prime pupils get a tasty treat in my class. If you wish to survive, listen to my lecture carefully, Captain, for it will all be on the test. Pull the fire alarm. Awesome. You've got plenty of experience dodging responsibility, but when it comes to evading an exam, only one solution will do. With a wink, you lunge for the fire alarm before instructor Backstar knows what's going on. Backstar? All right. I was waiting for it to. Code Magenta, all personnel abandon ship! <laughs> Alright, so of course. <laughs> Sensors what indicate there's some sort of floating memorial nearby. Your navigator asks if you want to make the short detour to check it out. Yeah, man, pay respects. Planet Nate, welcome to Le Mullet. Wait, the whole planet died? It was as if a million mates cried out at once <laughs> and were silenced. <laughs> No, oh, <laughs> Without warning, a group of undead humanoids pop out of the ground, surrounding you. You fumble for your phaser, but before you can reach it, they're on you with resumes in hand. Welcome aboard, brains or er, um, friends. Moving on. We've got zombies. We've got robots. Mission successful. Yo! Congratulations, Ark Woofalo. You have successfully traversed the Wilky May in a most daring expedition. Galaxy Force honors you with the title Unfortunate Diplomat. <laughs> Okay, obituary. Became more replies than humanoid. Crazy Dave. Wait, read those off again. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Slain go. by a deadly doppelganger. A valiant fight in a parallel ship. Victim of mirror universe science. Blinded by neon shirts. Because they're so trapped. <laughs> so many of them. Became more replies than humanoid. Dude, that wasn't a, that's not a huge amount of death, if we're honest. <laughs> what? You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is just like, well, that was successful. And you're like, uh, yeah, kill that. Uh, uh, yeah, push it. <laughs> we did get bad luck. All right, next quest. Fame or it. The home sector of the Urzons. It remains mostly uncharted by Galaxy Force. It'll be a tough task. Bear, bear, no. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the Space King! <laughs> Alex <laughs> Soup Campbell. What do you mean, soup? What <laughs> store are you in? The Soup Store! <laughs> Why are you looking for clothes in the Soup Store? We're Matt Blizzard. There you go, he's it's got cool a three. <laughs> he's got a three. Captain Fallon. And Ross and Murphy again. It looks like a total nice man. <laughs> he does look a bit on the hipster side. I don't like any of these. It looks like it's pretty much the same piece stats. every time. No, those stats are a little different. Well, I the think. stats are the stats are different, but it's like it's the same batch of captains. Panduber. I'm gonna take Gardenia because she's got that two diplomacy. Uh, Braxtunia. Yeah. Christ, she's look at these. These are scouter. terrible engineers. Seriously. We're gonna have pizzling science. Sore end. Okay. There you go. 
<laughs> Wolfgang. Wolfgang Whisker. No, oh, he's Wesker. He's gonna betray us all. Also, this guy is sweating way too much. Well, I mean, he, he looks like John Tron, so you'd be sweating too. <laughs> he's doing the shirt thing. The stone. Pizza. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Set a course. And engage. <laughs> ah. Don't like him. Suddenly you're hailed by disgraced ex-Galaxy Force Commander General Evelyn Kang. Greetings, Captain. Going somewhere? Challenge her to hyper chats. Challenge Kang to single combat. <laughs> Trial by science. Uh. Yay! I deck her in the face. Oh god, no. Ah, it's the space butthole. Hey, let's try docking with it. <laughs> Yay! Your science team deactivates the Robo Destroyer, repurposing its long lost technology into your own engines. Shoot everything! I'm the rootinest tootinest! Oh, these things again. The chili people seem to run a tight ship around here, so it should be pretty safe to stop for a spell. It seems that your trusted cake forgot to screw the cat back on after your last fill up. You've lost quite a bit of fuel due to her negligence. Turn around, it really incinerate be, their planet. It really should be negative 50 fuel, negative one crew. <laughs> the crew that we injected into space. It's like shooting squid in a barrel. The eyes fly as you unleash plasma <laughs> on the creatures. After a while, an oculo black platoon surrenders. There's a thing, read it. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm close to the smokestack up ahead. Well, if you're gonna be the reader, you should have stuffed your plan. face all the time. Not a neutral ran for eons. Send in Soar End. Soar End and the away team successfully beam to the factory planet's surface. This is definitely the legendary Neutra Neutra based factory. The gate to the factory is so lavishly decorated. What should the away team do? Outside of the Neutra Neutra Pace factory, there's only a single shining blue lake. Since the rest of the planet is covered by smokestacks, it's amazing the lake has remained unpolluted. Jump right in! Blow it up! No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> She's going to get disease. Thomas Jansen and their longtime romantic partner jump in first, laughing and splashing around in the cool, clear water. Then they're pulled under by something. The away team is too busy screaming to figure out what. Can't get good help these days. Now ring the doorbell. A tall Fabulon woman steps through the gate. Dressed in a colorful top hat and a tailored suit, she is fabulous even by Fabulon standards. This is Nana Nutra. <laughs> Phew! But we are losing crew rapidly. Trying to figure out what they should be doing, Sid the Kid looks around and is immediately scared to death by Soren's terrifying visage. <laughs> Your away team is going to be the first to explore Nana Nutra's factory in decades. You order Sora, Soren, wait a minute, wait a minute! This, yes. this is Char, this is Willy, Willy Wonka. Wonka. I know what's happening here. Make it turn faster! <laughs> Yeah, so let's just make it turn faster. Go. It would be so much cooler if it was like one million times more crazy, Violet. Engage! <laughs> Stuff Johnny Cannon fodder into it. <laughs> what? What? Yay! Turn it faster, Nana Nutra says, mulling over the idea. Yes. Yes! She exclaims, as your crew's ingenuity turns the calm waterfall into a raging torrent of neutral pace. The Jorga Blogger's glare at your crew as they're laid <laughs> off. Behind oh, here, she says, suddenly serious, is a secret of neutral neutral paste. I'll let you in 
and your lives change forever. Change our lives forever. This is a secret that makes the neutral brand stand out. It's 0.0004% chocolate. Destroy this abomination. Immolate it. It must be destroyed. This is a betrayal of everything you believed, everything you dreamed of as a child. You order Soren to burn it to the ground. Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what? Relax, none of this is our product, she says. I was merely testing your loyalty to the purity of the paste. Vindication. Take over the business. <laughs> With your blessing, Sorend is instated as chief of the factory. Let's go along the straight and narrow path there. <laughs> Make the ship entirely out of guns. All right, time for an away mission. The team is herded into a long customs line. When your team finally reaches the booth and shows their interstellar passports, a stern, uniformed hippoclop blinks its eye at Sorend and booms, Anything to declare? Soren jumps up onto the counter and yells to everyone in the room. Yeah, I got something to declare. I declare this planet to be awesome. And then begins whooping and playing air guitar. <laughs> That's not exactly what I expected. The ambassador's voice echoes in the minds of the away team, thanking them and suggesting they be off together. It's illegal to take more than 100 milliliters of liquid off the planet, says Nervous Force Terrorism Suspicion Agency. This throws a bit of a wrench into your mission. What will you do? Drink the ambassador. <laughs> glove, glove, glove. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Enough! Cries the ambassador telepathically. I invoke <laughs> trial by combat. Wait, what? Nobody expects so edgy. <laughs> His sword. No! <laughs> Showing real and substantial <laughs> maturity, Soren whispers to the team that their strategy is to give wedgies to the hip flops. This is becoming more the adventures of a cha the chaotic neutral narf hole in your party. This is in a role playing session. This is straight up some Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy <laughs> move. Don't. Okay. Jimmy Woodfox yanks a hippoclops underwear up hard. Schwip. <laughs> The underwear rips, and the hippoclops falls backwards, crushing the would-be prankster. The hippoclop forfeits from sheer embarrassment. The team can leave now. Engineering reports systems around the ship either have too much power or not enough power. Sometimes both. It's getting a little ridiculous, and your chief of engineering has run out of ideas, short of running a ship-wide diagnostic. Shut off power and run the diagnostic. <laughs> Power! <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. We're not used to this kind of odds. Cake! No. No. No, no stop. No. Dag rabbit. Fart. Uh, <laughs> no, or hole. Condition red. Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> Everything is no, on fire. No. <laughs> well, forward, I guess. No. Can't do anything about it. Maybe we'll get some hole here. <laughs> Sadly, while oh. getting dressed today, you find a hole in your lucky underpants. No, my bravado! Crew! Ah, my attack! We're doomed. <laughs> you receive a shipment of Sour Beam and Gunion flavored Orion Trail Mix. You serve it- do you serve it or load it into the cannons? Neither option works out. Man, everything's going wrong right at the end. This is Death Road to Canada all over again. It is. Ah! Uh, drat. You've entered fancy space. <laughs> A gentleman like Raculot deserves the finest your ship has to offer. You insist on bringing him straight to your luxurious captain chambers, alone. He does look like he has bananas <laughs> in his pocket. Give us that star. That was a short roll. Give us that... Oh, piece of dink. <laughs> Not the whole dude. Just a chunk. You haven't cleaned your quarters in months, and since they are private, neither has the custodial staff. Racula is That mechanic disgusted. is garbage. The state of this ship warrants swift punishment. He beams back to his ship and fires at you. Run! Well, now we gotta hope that we don't encounter anything dangerous. But I think we just win, don't we? Yeah. Well, there might have been an encounter between there. Oh, fair. Phew! Time for Space Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> Captain Forever! <laughs> Too slow. Yes, we're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> the AI controlling ship's food replicator has decided it's graduated from common food and is only willing to produce tiny portions of space gourmet meals from now on. But it's Burger Night and the crew really just wants their burgers. Morph! 
Yo, a scientist in the medical bay sent an intelligence serum on his dog. The dog now walked onto two legs. Thoughts have become the most intelligent being on ship. Some people even think dogs make their captain. I'm the doting Dalai, guru of goodwill. Evil of thousand galaxies, so I'm bathing off passing ships in a ray of pure joy and love. I'm gonna be some new orders. Just kidding there. That was what in the... Sure was. Uh, Quadrilateral quadrant. Right. Uh, <laughs> it's Cher. You beam the alien to its shuttle and evacuate the area before the ruse is discovered. <laughs> Honestly, this was perfect. Then you remember you forgot to hit the record button. Dag rabbit. Gall dang it. No! <laughs> Controller tape the snack. Wait. No! Controller tape the ship. Controller tape the reel. No! You can some fresh drugs, bananas. You beat the leader so you can kidnap him and present him to the apes. For all of you, you Reports oh. came in all over the ship about warp weasels. Weasel schmeasels. You tell your team to just shoot the little buggers off and search that pod for any sign of the missing film crew. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Bats! Draw phases! Start shooting! Charge! You spot some trip to open up space walking along the trail. You offer them a ride and they're willing to do a little physical labor. Sure, Galaxy Force may not have found a cure for the common cold or the flu, but you know what? You're like way smarter. You Whoops, you're done. done. <laughs> you hear knocking, church bells, screaming, and laughter that doesn't appear to be coming from anywhere. You might be infested with the space ghost. You must take him from coast to coast. You know what's the You're all living a dream life. You're it. Everyone has ice cream to feel better. <laughs> Thanks, old dad. Well, go to class B because it's random. Center course! <laughs> Yep, the motor went up. Everything is coming up roses. You just, you explode. <laughs> Yay! Hey, we did it! Angle pun. I, I would like to say this was a fun experience. It was fun and silly. I'm, yeah, and I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that I think it could have been improved with mini games. That would have that would have made me feel more invested and active as it was. I just kind of clicked and.